Hi, in today's video I'll be covering another custom visual. Now this visual is called the globe map. So in Power BI we all we already know that we have a map visual. So we actually have two map visuals. One is a normal map visual that we have here and the other is a filled map that we have with us. So this is the normal map. So I'll just import my data and then we'll get straight to the visual. So this is the sheet inside my excel file so we have the state we have the cities and we have the task return file we have the estimated population and we have the total wages this looks great i load this and once i load it it will be available in the fields pane you must have understood that by now that anytime you load data you load a data set it is available in the fields pane so now if i just delete this if i just click on city state power bi If I just click on state, Power BI automatically recognizes that this is, it recognizes the values, that these are geographic values. That looks great. So now let's convert this into a table. We, I want my total wages and estimated population along with that. Let this just bump up the size a little so that it is visible clearly. Three points for five points that looks great and now we'll import our visual so you come to the free ellipses here you click on import from app source and you come to the search bar and search for G L O B E that is the globe so this is the globe map that we have here there's another visual called the globe data bars that you just saw so I'll be covering that in some other video so now what you can have here is you can have a bar or a heat map along with a bar so if I just convert this data into a globe map and if you just have a look over here and now this is a 3d globe actually let's go to the focus mode so yeah, you can zoom in zoom out easily no issues in that one second yeah and you could use these buttons that are available to you to zoom in and zoom out and now I have just plotted this maps I have just plotted the states and not the cities so I don't know why it's going dark I think my power bi I need to update my power bi with the latest stable version so you could double click and move around you know looks great we have a lot of things marked here a lot of places marked here so now let's try to get my cities as well in here that we can have a lot of points so if I click on my state city and untick my state and I bring in my city states is that working I don't know why that is not working right now mm. so okay that's not an issue let's ha just have our states in here and now if I click on this particular if you move around on these points that you will see the tooltip on each of them and you're also seeing a heat map so that option can be turned off from here so if you come here and now the bar height you see the total wages if you take that off you see you see the bars right and we're also seeing a heat intensity so if you turn that off as well so it'll just show you the bars you won't see anything else so if you move your tool to around the bar if you move your cursor around the bar you'll see the tooltip as well that's great that looks amazing and if we come back to America and I select my total wages again this gives me a lot of and let's say I want my population to be a heat map so then you see the heat maps slight heat small heat maps so these are for the population yeah so I can zoom in right now okay so that's it's not darkening This is the whole globe map visual. It looks pretty cool. I don't know why I cannot bring in my cities into my location. Uh, I'll try that once again because then we'll have a lot of points too. Ha! Yes, this is working. This looks beautiful right now. So yeah, so we have the population as a heat map and the bars are the total wages of that particular city. So now this looks pretty cool. Now if you zoom in 
and I could actually go around this way. So okay, let's not go to Mexico right now. And you can play around with this. You have a lot of formatting options available that I'll show you just in a minute. And if you zoom in again, zoom in a bit. So now, so this heat map that you see, right, like I told you, is the population and the bar is showing the total wages. You could actually add in legends in here. So the legend would be for you to have different sections in the bar, bifurcate the bar even further. So that is something that you would do. So now let's go to the formatting options that we have available. And in terms of formatting, there's not a lot that we can do. So we can change the data colors. So you would literally have to change the colors of, you could change the color of the total wages. One second. Yeah, you could change the color of the total wages or if I bring in my state in here, you'll have the ability to change the color of each state. So I don't think that is something you want to do. So over here also it takes, this is not something someone wants to waste time on. So the bar, color of the bar is not that important when you're using this visual because then you would have to change all the, them individually so that is very time consuming you could add a title you could obviously add a border right now it's white i could have a red border that looks great i could increase the transparency a bit you could turn on the log aspect ratio you could have a border so you have so in this you don't have an actual background i mean the whole page is filled with the map so you cannot have a background as such so the background acts as a border as well and then we have the normal border option so i don't know why this so this option is not of much use if i turn this off as well and if i just come to the border and i select the red color so it's i could increase the thickness from here as well the radius actually so this one would be a thin one but then this also looks good so let's come back to the normal view and let's decrease the size a bit. Okay. So this was the globe map visual that I just showed to how showed you. So the map visual that we have are the normal map and the field map. And this one that I covered was the globe map. So this can be imported from the app source. Thank you. I hope you learned something new. Subscribe to the channel for more content and keep supporting the channel. Thank you.